this is Andrew from DPS and welcome back. Today I want to talk to you about what an SNMP MIB is. That's SNMP MIB. A MIB is a helpful communication tool that allows devices to talk to each other. And let me draw you a quick diagram so you can see how it works. As you know, in SNMP we have multiple devices called agents. So we'll uh, we'll just draw a stack here. So we have different agents out there. And then we have our master. This could be a piece of software running on a server. It could be a dedicated server. There are a lot of different SNMP managers. So conceptually, we would call it a master in monitoring terms. But in SNMP, it is a manager. So we are going to have communication going back and forth between the manager and the agent. When you go to add a new agent in your environment, Just like you're adding a new device on your PC in the good old days when drivers were uh, pretty manual, the manager doesn't immediately know how to work with that agent. It has a collection of things. If it's a generator, it'll be saying, here's my oil pressure, here's my fuel level, here's my temperature. But the manager doesn't know what all those things are. It needs a list of, here's all the things that are going to be reported, and then here's a list of things that I can request from the agent to say, uh, hey, give me your current status, or, or set this value to something, or turn this on, turn this off. How do I talk to this thing? Well, that's what the MIB file is. The MIB is a actually a plain text file. It's in ASN.1 notation, and it contains all the instructions that that manager is going to need to resolve all those questions about what this device can do and, and how to talk to it. So the MIB should be provided by the manufacturer of your agent. It's just like a driver file. If you bought something, that device's manufacturer should give you a driver file. Well, the supplier of your SNMP agent ought to give you a MIB. So you do what's called compile that MIB into your manager. And at that point, there's no longer any question. It can understand what's going on with that agent. I will warn you though, some manufacturers of agents may say, oh yes, we support SNMP absolutely, but they may be protecting from a business standpoint their own system that is non-SNMP that uses a proprietary protocol. And to do that, one effective way is to not freely distribute a MIB. So be careful that you don't get into that trap if you're considering a purchase, talk to your manufacturer, make sure that the MIB is readily available. One other thing of note, some masters and managers are getting smarter. And so, as just an example pulled from the DPS environment, our team on Master Station is equipped with what we call device modules. If you have a device module, your manager may already understand intrinsically how to work with certain common agent types. And if you have that, you may not really need to use a MIB at all. The manager might be pre-equipped. So as that model continues to take hold in the industry, you may see less and less need for MIBs. But if you're loading a non-standard agent, you really need to make sure you have that MIB file available so that your manager can get it compiled in there and understand how to talk to that agent. I hope this cleared up a few things for you. Please, if you found this video helpful, click the like button and subscribe to the channel so you can get more videos like this one. And until next time, I'm wishing you excellent network reliability.